One of the more dramatic and important effects of going into a hot environment for some period of time is the activation of so-called heat shock proteins or HSPs. Heat shock proteins are a protective mechanism in your brain and body to rescue proteins that would otherwise misfold. When your body goes through changes in temperature, in response to hot environments or cold environments, heat shock proteins are deployed to go and rescue and prevent the changes in proteins that would be detrimental to your health. So at least in the short term, activating heat shock proteins is a good thing. You don't want heat shock proteins to be activated for long periods of time because that gets to be problematic for other reasons. It's well established in animal models and in humans that sauna exposure of the sort that I described earlier activates these heat shock proteins. However, there have been interesting studies done in humans examining some of the downstream molecular pathways of deliberate heat exposure that point to the mechanisms by which deliberate heat exposure can help protect against different forms of mortality, improve health overall, and possibly, and I want to highlight possibly, possibly extend life. One such mechanism involves a genetic program involving a molecule called FOXO3. FOXO3 is a very interesting molecule because it's involved in DNA repair pathways. DNA repair is part of the process of remaining healthy. You know, we'd all like to think that we're born and based on the genes we have, we are healthy, 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 then eventually we age and then we die. But from the time we're born until the time we die, there's a constant repair of our proteins and our cells and a modification of the genes that are being expressed. You know, puberty being the most dramatic example, right? You see a kid before puberty and after puberty, looks like a different kid, sounds like a different kid, thinks like a different kid. In fact, basically is a different human being, right? It's not just the hormones, it's that hormones themselves have the capacity to turn on and turn off certain genes, literally converting certain tissues and cells in the brain and body to do entirely different things. Throughout our entire lifespan, genes are being turned on, genes are being turned off. Genes are being turned on, genes are being turned off. And DNA, the stuff of genes, gets damaged in that process. FOXO3 sits upstream in a pathway related to DNA repair and again, clearing of these senescent cells. Sauna exposure, in particular sauna exposure, two to three times or ideally four to seven times per week in that 80 to 100 degree Celsius range has been shown to upregulate levels of FOXO3. FOXO3 in turn upregulates pathways related to DNA repair and clearing out of these senescent or dead cells, which is known to be important for various aspects of maintaining cognition and other aspects of maintaining health. annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.